Hello team, is he in the house? Right, it's everything's up in the air, okay? Uh, I do apologise for not having posted for a while, but life goes on and things happen uh, and things change. And yeah, I am having to make a bigger shed, basically. Now, I don't have to make a bigger shed, but I just have to get rid of this tin one because... It condensates inside, even with Celotex on all surfaces, even behind the uh, OSB board, all around the walls, there is insulation, and it still pours off of these stills uh, in the winter. My tools are getting rusty. Um, I'm not making excuses. That is that is how it is, unfortunately. So um, because. You know me, I don't have a lot, but what I've got I treasure and I like to renovate, rejuvenate, restore, uh, upcycle, call it whatever you like. But I like to um, yeah, take stuff and just a bit of life back into it. So I went online on the marketplace and I found a shed. I'll pop some pictures up of it in a minute just after this little starter clip and I shouldn't even be in the sunshine you know that easy not with lupus plonker oh got me factor 50 on those it's like a wet spray spray it on one one application there you go stop going off the rails mister right so uh this shed come up for free by uh, a collector uh, has to come and obviously dismantle it which really wasn't a lot of fun on a 12 by 10 wooden uh, wet very wet uh, shed so lots of pairs of hands give me a hand thank you guys um van was hired with tail lift and early nights were had as best i could and we all went down there mob handed Took it apart and brought it back. It was a long, long drive. But it was free and it wasn't rotten. So, long story short, I'm not going to go through all of the, the ifs, when, whys and buts. But I've replaced quite a bit of wood. Uh, speech is getting better. Uh, you probably notice I start stuttering now. I'm forgetting words. But I seem to be getting better when the sun comes out. I don't know what it is. Whether Just, I don't know. SAD, who knows? But there we are. So yeah, I've got the shed here. I have done lots of prep work. We carry on myself done lots of prep work. Um we've painted, replaced um wood that's rotten with fresh timber, um strengthened it, made new trusses for, for the roof. All that will become apparent just after this video. Well, in the next episode, probably this is just to basically what's going on here in the world of uh, easy manor so basically yeah we're getting rid of this metal shed and putting a big wooden one in there um fucking hell man is it thundering god that's smelly thunder <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. anyway where was i uh right yes um oh dirty bastard oh. <laughs> It's not big or clever, all right. So don't don't encourage me. Don't make me sort of. Yeah, it's for. Fuck it. <sighs> right, yeah, be gone, oh stench of the devil. <laughs> right, right. Come on, sensible face on. So as you can see, the shed is an actual. It has been a dumping ground. There's the area A three under there. We've got the Suzuki FZ fifty. All. Uh, all beautiful under there still uh, <laughs> I really must get that out and run it and run it in uh, it's not going anywhere I love that little bike the A3 is not going out anywhere when I get this new office factory built um, that will be built restored and it will take pride of place in there along with my new mobility scooter I'll talk about that in another video. It is if if mobility scooters were cars, 
you've got your you know you've got your micro cars and your quad vehicles and then your minis and then your you know your, your astras and so yeah. this i kid you not is the lamborghini of uh mobility scooters uh yes it doesn't work properly but that's what i do i, I buy in bro i I buy in or get stuff that's free and broken. Generally, it's free. This one sadly wasn't free because of just what it is. You'll see that when we around for the video. And uh, yeah, I need to, need to do a lot of work on it to get it tip top. But by golly, all my hair nearly fell off when we shot down the road on it. Yeah, I bought the batteries back around. Stop waffling. Is it? Yeah, so yeah, as you can see, you've got lots of stuff that needs to be taken out boxed up anyone want a handlebars for a cd175 in there somewhere quite good nick there they are there actually uh yeah so i need to just get all this stuff out get these kitchen units out oh bag the tools up it is and uh, somewhere there's a compressor under there somewhere it is just an utter utter chaos i've got the cylinder head there for uh, audi 1.4 tdi i've got to sort that out there's the turbo uh, i mentioned that in a video in the past i've also got a webasto that I, i'm repairing um a little propane lamp an old 50s lamp so many things but that need to come out and get boxed up and i've got to de-electrify uh the whole place got trunking going around I'll get the sockets off the wall, disconnect all that. There's a, a feed coming in down there. And then I need to start taking out the insulation. It's all well and good, but it's having space to put the stuff, which isn't a lot of fun because, as you can imagine, the decking is now new shed space. That is the new shed. We've got the sides there, two sides and the two roof sections and there we've got the front and back you can see parts of it well, i've had to replace an awful lot of the timber built all that that's all done so i need to take that apart because on the back panel which will be obviously here with an extra two foot on it but that is this side is the side that gets the weather whether our weather comes in from uh, southeasterly so bosh it hits this side of the building now what i'm going to do is i'm going to well when i take this shed apart it's not worth anything to anybody so what i'm going to do is take all this cladding all this cladding so i've got 20 foot i've got 28 foot of the darker cladding and 20 foot of the lighter cladding this stuff's obviously longer in length than the roof panels sections but this stuff will be put on the back panel facing the weather because the sheds it's all it's all right it's, it's well usable otherwise i wouldn't be contemplating doing this no way man that storm's getting closer oh dear Whew, embarrassed that's me so yeah the back of it will be cladded um just to give it that added protection uh, so you'll have the cladding, the, the, it's, it's not feather edge, it's a proper, proper tongue groove, that's why I went for it, and there's no OSB board up here, it's all tongue groove, the whole shed was tongue and groove, so top quality, let's get up here, so yeah, that, that's where we're at, um, that's why I've not been posting, because I have literally been sleeping, eating, and, and trying as much as much as I can to get things done within my limitations uh, and, and it, it's happening but it's happening slowly sadly where's quality there he is hello he's been ratting again he's 11 years old he still thinks he's two but there we go anyway guys I'm gonna wrap that up there there might be another uh, intro to, to this shed thing uh, in in the future before uh, it's constructed because there's a lot of deconstruction that needs doing a lot of trying to find space for things that lot has to find another space because we're coming two foot this way and uh, the slabs are coming up do you see what i mean so there's so much 
to do. It's not just throw your tools in the back, back of the car, knock it down, and then put the new one. Got to make a new floor and everything. So, anyway, take care. Uh, it's nice to see everybody. Thank you for your comments. Uh, those of you guys that bought me a coffee, um, there's not a link on this video to buy us a coffee, but there is one somewhere i don't even know i'm not really bothered about it but hey guys those of you that did buy me a coffee you'll be pleased to know that your money has bought two enough wood for me to make these two doors it's a twin door shed the two doors that were on there you're seeing in the pictures in a second rotten as pears so i've gone out and bought new lumber and i have made tongue groove i've made these two beautiful and painted uh things so that's where your money is gone and i thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh thank you again right drop a like please subscribe if you're not subscribed if you like this kind of thing normally we're doing mechanical things uh but now we're not well we it's kind of mechanical isn't it because it's a meccano shed which is shite don't buy a metal shed guys they're fucking not worth it oh it looks lovely but and it's done me for three years, but I am sick to death of finding rusty things that I haven't used for a little while. I'd spray everything because I, you just have to. Anyway, stop waffling. Take care. I'll see you soon. Um, yeah. Be good and kind to each other. See you later.